the sunbeam. Episode 3 Good morning. Good morning, Steph. Who are you? Me? Christina, I'm a... Your mommy's friend? She is your mother. What, Dad? A person can't have two moms. Hold on, stop, listen. Yes, yes, I remember about the meeting. Based on the above evidence presented and guided by Articles 307, 308, and 309 of the Criminal Code, the court has found Mary Laurie guilty of committing a crime under Article 126, Part 2 of the Criminal Code of the Russian Federation and to sentence her to seven years imprisonment to serve her sentence in a penal colony of general security. Sorry, Mary. May I? On the basis of Article 73 of the Criminal Code of the Russian Federation to consider the punishment suspended with probation of two years. Uh, what did the doctor say? Mary, can you hear me? I don't care anymore. Uh, please, I beg you, don't despair too much. Honestly, I did everything I could, though what could I do? The law is on Caleb's side. You gave your consent, but Mary... I'm sure when your son has grown up, he will decide who he wants to be with. To impose on the convicted the duties during the probationary period not to change her permanent place of residence without first notifying a specialized state body responsible for the correction of the convict. To report to the aforementioned said body monthly and not to commit administrative violations. Well, okay. M Mary, uh, this is... Uh, Mary, I have news for you. Hi, Doctor. Uh, are you the father or the husband? No, no, me? Uh, no, I'm her lawyer. Ah. Uh. Then excuse me, I need to talk to Mary alone. Oh, uh, Mary, I, uh, uh, goodbye then. You can take this to school. But I like the red ones. You'll be late if you eat so slowly. My mom always drew funny faces on my porridge for me. Steph, that's silly. You're too grown up for that. Steph, I'll draw them tomorrow. So are you still going to live here tomorrow? And tomorrow and the day after. And we'll soon become friends. I told them. I thought that slogan was too complicated for their dumplings. Something... Something simpler, like dumplings for people, uh... Buy them. Stop complaining. <sighs> Keep thinking. I'll call you later. I'm really late. Can you drop him off at school for me? No, I won't go with her. You'll go like a good boy. I have a meeting in an hour. I have to go. They can't be without me, you hear?
can you not remember where your school is? You turn right at the crossroads behind the supermarket, then go straight ahead. It's near the billboard on the left. Pick me up after the fifth period. After the fifth? So it's nine, ten, eleven o'clock, I don't know. Two o'clock. Damn, I have a short meeting with the computer guys. Then ask Mom to get me. Out of the question. Yes, out of the question. In your condition, rest is most important. You'll stay in bed today, and tomorrow I'll prepare the discharge paperwork. Doctor! Huh? Excuse me. Uh, how is she? What's wrong with her? It's complicated. She needs some counseling from a good therapist, and care from close relatives. But. But what relatives? Uh, they all live far away. And her father had a heart attack. Uh, she doesn't know. She's pretty much alone. Well, where to now? That way. Much longer? Huh? I told you to the left, but you made us turn to the right. No, you said right. No, I said left. You said right and don't argue with your elders. Why did you stop? Are you angry? We're here now. Goodbye. Okay, I guess I was wrong. I guess you said left. I just misunderstood you. I'm sorry. Forget it. No one needs your apology. It's a waste of time. Come on in. Well, hurry. Hurry it up. Okay, then. Huh? Here's the thing. I'll tell you one more time. You are regularly late for work. You know you are not allowed to show up late for a meeting with a big client. You look a little beat up. Your eyes don't sparkle. You don't have fresh ideas. What's the matter? Ah, oh, maybe you're tired. If there's a problem, just tell me, okay? Don't be shy, or I will replace you immediately. <clears throat> I had some problems, but they're solved. Uh, Caleb told me that he'd be late. He took his son to school. Took his son to school? Great. And the client has to sit and wait while this guy solves his personal problems. If Paul had not come up with a good idea, believe me, we'd all be looking like idiots. So you're very lucky. Our dumplings are tasty because there's nothing nasty. Uh, garbage! Don't be sarcastic, Caleb. No, please don't. I know it's nonsense, but the customer liked it. And the customer's word is law. Stop acting like idiots! Get back to work. Why are you smiling? Get back to your desk and work. Thank you, Paul, for helping me out. You think I don't know it's bullshit? Study. Equations. Mm. 
Does he look like you? Mm -hmm. He does. That's cool. When the son looks like his father. You have a photo? Paul, don't you have something to do? Uh, you were told to work. So go to work! I don't need you to mess with my head! Get it? What's next on the schedule? In ten minutes, we're going to present computer graphics for the Green Peas, and then... Then I know what. Why are you sitting down? Everyone to work! Everyone! And no personal business at work! Work! Work, guys! Come on! Work, I said! Hello. Where's my father? Steph, Daddy can't pick you up. He has work. I'll take you home. Hmm? We'll have fun. We'll do pizza and a movie. Hmm? I'm not going anywhere with you. Steph, don't be stubborn. Come on. Come on, come on. I'm not going anywhere. Let's go. You. Don't be stubborn. Come on, let's Leave go. Leave me alone. Ah. Leave me alone. The boy runs away and the door closes behind him, and then a bell appears in the frame and starts ringing, as you see here. Yes, Christina, I can't talk right now. Caleb, listen. Stefan refuses to go home. Well, tell him that... He stomped on my foot and ran back inside. The guards won't let him back out. Well, I... <laughs> uh... In half an hour, we do brochures, and at five, we have the models coming. And I missed an important meeting about all of my new projects, which I've been working on for six months. I can't keep missing important things like this. Steph, your father's tearing himself apart. Mm -hmm. He is trying, and you are not. I work this hard to make sure you have good food, a nice house, a good school, and what do I get? Problems with the bosses and your sour face. What are you missing? My mom, please let her come back. <clears throat> well, first of all, she is forbidden. And secondly, your mom is here. And Mary, she's not your real mother. It's Christina who's not real. My mother's the real one. Have you eaten? Here! No. Give it to me! No! 
I want mom. Give it back to me. It's my mommy. No, your real mom's right here. Stop it. This is your real mom. This is your real mom. Look at her. She's your mother. That's it. You're punished. Go to sleep. Upstairs. No. Do you hear me? To sleep now. Quickly. Sunbeam. Sunbeam Beauty. This is just child abuse. The law is on Caleb's side. Besides, you gave your own consent. I am sure when your son grows up, he'll decide for himself who to be with. Your mother is here. Mary's not your real mother. It's Christina who's not real, but my mommy's the real one. So, how many classes do you have? Five? That means you'll be done at two. At two. I've got... Okay, I'll pick you up myself. It can wait. After school, we'll go to my work. You can do your homework over there while I'm working. You've never been to my work. Okay. Let's take silence as a sign of your consent. Consent to refuse further hospitalization. If things get worse, come back in. We'll try to help. How much worse can it get? Well, don't exaggerate. And try not to feel anxious. Keep busy. Distract yourself. Your son, your family. How old is he? Seven. He's in the second grade. <laughs> Just think, George. They're already figuring out equations. Mm-hmm. You had better come up with a plan before we shoot the market ad about the dandruff shampoo. Bondar shook. He's coming in today with his ideas. Come on now. Uh, the actual Bondarchuk? Then that's wow. <laughs> but listen, can we afford that guy? Well, it's a different Bondarchuk. Ah. His name is Philip. <laughs> so, F. Bondarchuk. Mm -hmm. That's a good coincidence, hmm? Yes, but the clients don't have to know that. What? Uh -huh. Listen, smartass. Look, don't play with me. Otherwise, we could all lose our jobs here. Job ads. Я заболел, у меня температура Так много дел и одинокое утро Вилами по воде рисовал все напрасно Я заболел, подарите мне праздник День юбилей по стенам хрущевок Обернись, нету страховок Солнце, луч Кажется из-за туч Мой друг, я знаю, что такое грусть И никогда к ней не вернусь Тенью ввысь По стенам хрущевок Обернись Нету страховок Солнце, луч Покажется из-за туч Мой друг, я знаю, что такое грусть И никогда к ней не вернусь С 
красоты Полета птичьего вижу, много чего Эти дома пустые, картонки мы вниз и картоном Город нарисован, голодная Аризона Я поздно понял, куда надо идти, чтобы не быть заколдованным Много чего над Москвой Пробки дорог, серый поток жизни не смог И я смог без него, и все же спрячусь под зонт Я промок под дождем, это все, чего ждем Лишь тепла и летнего солнца И летнего солнца She's a sleeping beauty. And there's a prince on a horse. He takes her in his arms, and as she opens her eyes, and then she notices that he has dandruff in his hair. Mm -hmm. The prince is confused, but the princess has shampoo. Mm -hmm. uh, and where did she get it? In the coffin. Where? Here, in the crystal coffin where she had slept. Um. Philip, do you hear what you're saying? She takes the shampoo out of the coffin? The crystal one. It's a fairy tale. Mm. Uh, the prince's head is not cut off to wash with the shampoo? Oh, no. A pity. Oh! Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, I'm off now. Try to find a different image. Uh, which part? The crystal coffin. I'll be back soon. Uh, Caleb, we have a three o'clock. I remember. I'll be there. And look for the role of the prince. Some cute tough guy. Thank God. She's awake. Fainting. An episode of transient loss of consciousness caused by a temporary disturbance of blood flow. Syncope in Latin. How are you feeling, honey? I thought you were dead. Here. I brought water from the galley. Where am I? I fell on top of you from the ladder. And then, we brought you inside here. Our restaurant. We haven't opened yet. That's why it's chaos. Chaos. Cosmogony. The primary state of the universe. The formless totality of space and matter. Uh, it's Russian for disorder. Okay. Here, have some water. Do you need a doctor? Uh, no, thank you. Do you need a job? Mm-hmm. How did you know? Was I mumbling? Um, your notebook fell out. I looked through it. Mm. Well, I wanted to know your name. Mary. Mary. Dan. This is Cook. Sanja, Mary, and Caesar. Like the salad. Thanks for not leaving me lying in the street. <laughs> of course. Pretty girls like you shouldn't be lying in the street. Are you hungry? Mm-hmm. Perfect. We were just going to see to have lunch. Cook was a sailor. He cooks like a god. On the menu today is soup a la borscht and buckwheat with mushrooms. All right, bring it. Uh, Sanja? You bring the plates and utensils. Caesar, you have the most important job. Come on, move the tables. Move the chairs. Uh, let me take that. Okay, thank you.
Hi there. Am I late? Hold on. If you think I forgot you, it's not true. Your dad just had a lot of work. Actually, too much. And if you're really worried I forgot you, you can still call. I don't have a phone. You took it away. school going? It's okay. Do you have a lot of lessons? I need to pee. Badly. Well, is that all? Let me help you. Come on. Wash my hands. Your hands? Come over here. Okay, now. Done? I want to eat something. And the finale should include a choir singing, but in verse, something like this. Here we go. By taking cough armor, you give your health an armor. Like that? May I join? Yes, 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 yes. I think it's brilliant. Thank you so much. Especially the part about the armor. Let's hear from Caleb. Uh, <clears throat> Yes, really. Everything was good. Delicious. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. We're glad. Thanks. Thanks, Cliff. So have you found a job? It's not easy. No. Nobody wants an ex-housewife. Hmm. <laughs> so could you... Could you do the dishes and some cleanup here? Yes, of course. But what... about the filming of it? You know, we'd like a famous director. We are a very serious company. Well, then I guess... 
Bandarshuk. I mean, we've worked with him before, mm -hmm. but he is expensive. You know money is not the issue when it's about the image. So then, do we agree? Do you have a home? Not yet. Oh, I see. Then you can stay at my place. For such a pretty dishwasher, I'm... Uh, Never mind. Uh, I better be going. No, wait. I think you misunderstood me, Mary. I meant there is a place here in the restaurant. It was going to be an office, but... Anyway, let me show you. This is it. I know it's not very comfortable, but we can make it work. Hmm. And you're not afraid to bring in a stranger? First, we know each other. Secondly, you work for me now. And third, I recognize a good person. Well, we're also going to be planning a big ad campaign for a diarrhea medication in the fall. I'd like to shoot something, you know, family friendly. Uh, maybe you have ideas? <clears throat> That's a strange question to ask. Really? Of course we do. Right, Caleb? Uh, oh, yes, I have some now. Um, yes? Imagine something. Um, the fall, the park, fun rides. A family, father, mother, son, uh, riding the Ferris wheel together. And suddenly the son has a belly ache. Yes. Daddy, my stomach hurts. I think I bodied. Sorry, excuse me. Excuse us. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <clears throat> uh, well... Keep going. The situation is hopeless at this point, huh? Uh, the Ferris wheel is jammed, no toilet, <laughs> as you can imagine. Well? A grandiose idea. Yourself. Yes. All of it. That's right. Uh, couldn't you ask someone to take you to the bathroom? No, I just had to go. Unexpected, I see. Okay. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Laura, listen. Are there any children's clothes? Uh, shirt, pants, or some men's? I really need them. Urgently, please help me out. I don't think we have any of those. Hmm. Hmm. All right, then. Wait a minute, though. I think there is something. Hold on. It's from a beer commercial. It's rather old. Is this okay? Oh. Oh.
Bye. See you tomorrow. See you. There is no single universally accepted theory explaining and describing such a concept as time at the moment. So when is tomorrow is still a question. Try not to be late. Aren't you in a hurry to get home? Mary. Hmm? Are you married? No. Why do you ask me that? My son. May I? Yes, of course. <laughs> and that's my ex-wife. They live in Spain now. They won't let me talk to him. That could be traumatic for him. Aren't you worried? Women think that they're the only ones who care about kids. And men can only think about work. A child is just an object for them. Isn't that true? Well, of course not. A normal man thinks like a child itself. The continuation of his lineage. His beam of light in the dark realm. Mm -hmm. In the dark realm of work. Well, sort of. But a man must have his work. Without it, he'll languish. He wouldn't feel like the leader of the pack. A woman wouldn't love him. And he might get mauled. Or he'll do it himself. Well, okay. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you. Have a good night. Have a good night. There was a tall, tall tower on the ground. And around that tower were very black, black clouds. And they were so black that even the sun did not shine through them. And there was a man who lived in that tower. Is it a good morning? Is mommy back? <sighs> no. Who made the porridge then? I made the porridge. Eat breakfast quickly and get ready for school. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Dan. Strike me God. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> I couldn't agree more. <laughs> oh, look at this. It's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Welcome, pirate. <laughs> Happy. Look at that. He sings. <laughs> 
Arg. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Breakfast is ready. Learn, cook. This is how you should greet us every day. You'll be fine, you rascals. <laughs> <laughs> cook, come on. I'll copy this, graphic huh? copy. <laughs> Dan? Hand. Bye, Dad. Wait, hold on. Hmm? Listen to me. I can't leave work early today. I have to stay or I'll get fired. There's a big meeting. Well, so... Christina will meet you. Come on, please. But I thought you kicked her out. No, she left in the morning to meet someone at the airport. But she said she'd pick you up. If you don't mind, of course. <clears throat> All right, I guess so. If something happens, call me. You still have my cell phone. Wait, here it is. That's not it. <laughs> Can I help you too? Uh, <clears throat> we are compiling a menu for the printer and the names of dishes, but they're all too boring. For example, the chicken salad? What should it be? I mean, cheap cheap? No, that's nonsense. <laughs> no, you're pirates. Hmm? Make it scary, like the salad. Should be called uh, cowardly chicken, for example. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a great idea. Uh, and the vegetable salad? A fat cow. <laughs> fat Why is cow? That? There's only greens in this salad, <laughs> so the cow gets fat quickly. <laughs> what about the fish salad? Drink the sea? <laughs> and the meat salad should be the lame antelope. But how come? She escapes from the hunters. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down. Yeah. Uh, the Cowardly Chicken. Uh -huh. Hello? Mom. Hello, son. I thought you'd never call me. Can you pick me up from school today? Me? But where's Daddy? Stop. Not good. And you have to hold the last note. One more time. More optimistic. You are loving mothers. You got me? Again. And action. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, one more time. And twice as cheerful. Philip. Huh? Can I talk to you a minute? Uh -huh. You see, the thing is, Philip, they're not your loving mothers. They're actually the evil stepmothers. Got it. Excuse me, please, Caleb. Your phone is ringing off the hook. Okay, Paul, you're in charge here. Take by take. Uh-huh. Take by take. Once again. And... Stop. It's bad again. Hello, and why are you calling? No 
someone picked me up from school. Wait, Christina didn't pick you up? But you don't have to worry. I already called my mommy. What? She's picking me up now. Careful, sorry. Come on, pick up the phone. Caleb. Stefan, please stay where you are and wait for me at the school. I'll be right there. And then we'll go somewhere together? You, me, and Mom. No, Stefan. Dad has a lot of work he still has to do. But I'll go out with you later tonight, okay? You forget by tonight. My mom never forgets anything. <sighs> Stefan... you pick up? We'll head upstairs to begin the meeting in a few minutes. Davy! Davy! Uh, excuse me, gentlemen, just one minute. Come on. Hello, George. I'm in a hurry. Where are you off to? We have a meeting in seven minutes. You have a report. Your colleagues are here to listen. I need to pick up my son. It's urgent. I'll be there. Same old story, huh? Your son again. What did you promise me last time? You told me that you solved all of your personal problems. Does that ring a bell? Yes, I thought I had, uh, but next time I... But there won't be a next time, my friend. If you leave now, I will fire you. Colleagues, if you'll follow me, please. Well then, okay. This way. <laughs> <laughs> 